So since we're trying to pull information from different places in our base, that means that Airtable dashboards are the right solution. So let's start building out our first dashboard, which is going to be that metrics dashboard, which lets us track all the various information for our workflow in one place. So to create a dashboard, you have to click on the apps panel. So this creates a dashboard. You see, I have my new dashboard and you'll understand in a moment why we call them apps, the apps panel, because dashboards are essentially composed of apps. So that opens up my apps panel here on the right. Let me open up new dashboard. Let me rename that by double clicking. And I'm gonna call this dashboard metrics. So I've just created my metrics dashboard. And now I can add apps. So what's important to understand is that Airtable dashboards are composed of apps. And apps are what live on top of your Airtable information and update when your Airtable information updates. So it's gonna become much clearer as I install the first app. So let me go ahead and install the first app into our metrics dashboard here. I'm gonna click on add an app. There you go. And that brings us to our apps marketplace. This is where you'll find all the different apps that are available for each one of your bases. So there's a quick overview here. You've got apps by Airtable. These are apps built by Airtable or by partners uh, that we helped build Airtable apps. You have all apps, which include Airtable apps, apps built by partner and community apps, which are apps submitted by the community that can be leveraged in your base as well. You can use scripts and I'll talk a little bit about that later which are little pieces of code that you can reuse to uh, remove duplicates, create junction table and things like that. But let's start very simply by creating a summary app. So I'm just gonna search for that summary app. Go ahead and select that. And summary app lets you display a piece of information, a summary of a particular view. In our case, we're gonna use a summary app to show the number of recent publications. So I showed you that view that says, what are all of the pieces of content that we published over the last 28 days? We just want a big number that says, this is the number of pieces that we've published. So I'm gonna use that summary app. You can see some examples. If you're ever unsure of what an app does, when you click into it, there's some sample items sold, next release date, number of tasks completed. I saw a lot of folks wondering how can we show the number of percent complete summary might be the right solution there. Let's go ahead and add that app. So here we go, I get a big seven. Now let's understand where this seven comes from and understand how to build a summary app. So here on the right, there's this little summary settings and this layout is common to a lot of apps and it's telling us what information should this app live on top of or said otherwise is what information should be updated or what information does this reflect? So in our case, we want this to reflect the number of records in our recent publications in our content pipeline. So table, I'm gonna go into campaign content pipeline. That's the table where my information lives. And then the view that I want to be reflected here is recent publication. So it's giving us a four because it's counting the number of records in that view. So I'm gonna make this a nice little orange and my label is gonna be, our goal is 10 per month or per 28 days. So clearly I can see where we are and where we are relative to our goal. When I click done, I click out here, it's added to my dashboard. So let's see what happens when I update information in my base, what happens to this summary app. So I'm gonna to go to my content pipeline. This is where I track the progress of our piece of content. I'm going into my Kanban view. And let's say this Instagram post from Kelly is ready to be posted. So we're gonna click on it. Post date is, let's say it was posted yesterday. I update to posted. And you could see that my summary has been updated to five. So this was automatic. Anytime your information updates, your summary app or all apps will update to reflect what's changed in your base. 